as you know, uh, you know, the average Southern Baptist church is relatively small, Mm -hmm. you know, with 200, you know, people in regular attendance or less. Do you feel like you can relate to them, those leading smaller churches? I I hope so. I spent the majority of my life in a church that was about that size. Mm -hmm. I grew up in one. Um, The churches I went to in college were that size. When um, I became pastor of this church now, that's the size that it, it was. Um, I know that it's the majority of of evangelism and discipleship work Mm -hmm. um, happens on that level. Mm -hmm. Um, The Southern Baptist Convention is uh, a denomination that's unlike really any other denomination in that it's not a denomination controlled by people in hierarchy, you know, that that dictate it's it's a pastor's, you know, convention. I mean, really the people, but, you know, I mean, it's the pastors show up. And so... Um, when it comes to a trustee board, when it comes to um, leading out in ministering to a computer, uh, computer you don't minister to computers. <laughs> uh, when it comes to ministering to a community, it's a it's a it's a small church pastor, a, a local pastor that's going to have the, the, the front line. I feel like if anything, let me say it this way, um, I feel like um, the convention ought to be coming behind mm-hmm. um, pastors of different all sizes and saying how can we help facilitate your ministry better. Because, you know, one of the things we say here is there's good parachurch and there's bad parachurch. Bad parachurch tries to take money and representatives from the church and say, hey, why don't you help us accomplish our ministry? And if that's your model, then your big churches, they're the ones that are influential because they got the money and the people. But if you recognize like, hey, let's bring the the, the power of the convention behind the leaders, which are are gonna be local pastors, then that's where ministry really begins to, to multiply. Yeah.